Hey guys, how we doing? Hopefully we're all doing well. Um, I've got another axe here to restore for you, but this video actually is going to be a little bit different than the previous ones I did, um, simply because we're not going to be rehandling this axe. It actually still has a pretty decent handle on it. Um, the head of the axe is still sitting nice on the handle. I'll show you that here in a minute. But um, well, I'll show you what we got going on here. So as you can see. This one is completely covered in this like black, this thick black paint. Um, not sure if the previous owner did that or if it actually came from the factory like that. Sorry, the dryer just went off there. But um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just scrape all this black paint off, get down to the bare metal on the head, scrape off all the paint on the handle get it back down to looking you know like the natural wood that I know is under there um, but yeah I'll get that all scraped off get it cleaned up and uh, try to get most of the black off as much as I can I might leave a little bit on there just to see how it looks um, but yeah so I'll go ahead and I'll get started on that and I'll be back with you here in just a moment All right guys, so I just got done uh, getting the black paint off about half of it. I did one side. Um, I'll show you how it looks here. Turn it this way. So I kind of like how um, you can still see some of the black paint on the handle. I'm gonna further clean the head up on the wire wheel. That's, I'm getting ready to do that here in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I got so far. I'll get some more of this off up at the top, but um, yeah, I'm kind of liking that look. Um, also, another thing, I'm super happy that I decided to clean my whole uh, workbench area right before I started this because, you know, that black paint stuff, it doesn't make a mess. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, it's not getting everywhere or anything like that. So I'm super happy I did that. Um, I'll definitely enjoy cleaning the entire area again as soon as I'm done, you know, so. But yeah, so I'm gonna get it up on the wire wheel and uh, further clean up that head. Because it's still attached to the handle, uh, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful, you know, maneuvering it on the wheel itself. Um, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get that set up. I'll, Maybe film a little bit for you to see, uh, just to kind of see what's going on. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And uh, if you made it this far, uh, please hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs>
All right, so I just finished scraping the other side of the head, and um, this is probably my favorite thing about doing this, is let me, let me show you what I found. Um, I didn't know, I didn't expect to find anything on here at all, but um, you can actually see, it says USA, worn, and there's a number four under it right there. So that's actually what type of ax this is. Um, like I said, it being covered under all that black paint, um, never would have known what it was. Um, if I hadn't decided to take that off and, you know, scraping that off. And then I started to sand it a little bit with just with hand sandpaper. Um, I got that to reveal. And, uh, yeah, so that's probably my favorite part is actually knowing what type of axe I'm dealing with now. So, but we still have this side. Like I said, I'm going to leave that black paint on there. I think that looks pretty cool. We still have this side that's covered. Um with the side with the logo on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my sander and I'm just gonna run it up and down. Um, there's a lot of technique and it's very, very, uh, you have to be very, very particular in how you do that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna go over it random um, and see how it turns out. So I'll show you here in a minute. All right, so we're back. Different shirt, obviously. But, uh, so we got the head all sanded, and we also got the handle how we want it. As you can see, we left a little bit of that black paint on there. Um, so now what we're going to do, um, after, well, first I'm going to burn the handle, I think, uh, give it a, just a little bit more, uh, character, a little bit more depth, um, and then we're gonna go ahead, we gotta sharpen it yet. And we still have to kind of profile the backside. It's a little bit, um, let me see if I can get it here. It's just a little bit mushroomed on the edges. Not, not real bad, but uh, just a little bit of something that we have to take care of. So uh, I think I'm just gonna burn it kind of light, but let me go ahead, I'll get it uh, set up in the vise here and uh, we'll get the torch on it. So we got it all burnt and initial sanding on it. Get you a look here. So as you can see, you can't even really see all that paint we left on there. It just kind of blended in with the burn. Uh, so that actually turned out pretty cool. But what we're gonna do now is we got a, our maker's mark here. Focus. Um, we'll just take our torch, we'll heat this up. We'll heat this up and we'll go ahead and give a brand on the on the handle here, put our mark on it. All right, so we got our brand nice and hot here. I'm just gonna throw it on. Make sure we get every edge of it here. There we go. Get you in the light here. I'm gonna go set this some place to cool so I don't touch it. But uh, yeah, so basically all we have to do now, we'll just oil the handle. Like I said, we're gonna reshape the, the back part of the head here, right here where it's mushroomed a little bit, put an edge on it, and it's, it's good to go. All right, so I just finished the ax up. Um, I'm gonna probably take you outside, let you see it in the sunlight and get a better look at it, but um, get you in close here as you can see we took that mushrooming down cleaned up the head put a nice edge on it there got the, this side as well it's hard to see there we go see the our makers mark there brand turned out nice um, but yeah so this is what it, this is what it looks like went ahead and just threw uh, piece of paracord on the end there if you want to hang it up um, just something extra on the end 
But yeah, so let me take you outside and I'll get you a real good look at it. All right, so here it is out, outside. See it a little bit better in the natural light here. Go down for you here. Yeah, so that's it all finished up. Thanks for watching.